Can tiny microscopic robots coursing through our veins make us immortal by the year 2030? This isn't just science fiction. Technology is advancing at an exponential rate, especially in biotechnology and nanotechnology. We're on the verge of programming our own biology, eliminating disease, reversing aging and extending life. Imagine robots so small that millions fit on a pinhead. These nanobots can deliver medicine, repair tissue and clear blockages. Powered by artificial intelligence, they'll learn, adapt and work together to keep us healthy. By 2030, sophisticated nanobots could begin reversing aging, ushering in a new era for humanity. How will these microscopic marvels grant us a life without end? The answer lies in nanobots, tiny machines that will patrol our bodies, repairing damaged cells, eliminating disease and even reversing aging. Acting as a vigilant repair crew, nanobots will keep our biological systems in a state of youthful vigor. They'll enter cells, fix DNA, clean waste, and reverse the effects of time. Imagine a second immune system, millions of times more powerful, protecting us from every disease. With nanobots, the very concept of biological death could become obsolete, paving the way for practical immortality. Of course, not everyone shares this optimistic timeline. Many experts, while acknowledging the potential of nanotechnology, express significant doubts about achieving immortality by 2030. They point to the immense complexity of the human body and the unforeseen challenges of introducing billions of autonomous robots into such a delicate ecosystem. Skeptics argue that the gap between current laboratory experiments, which are still in very early stages, and a fully functioning body-wide nanobotic system is vast. They worry that the exponential progress I foresee will hit unexpected walls, pushing such radical life extension far into the future, perhaps by many decades or even centuries. These doubters raise valid practical concerns. How do we ensure these nanobots do not malfunction? A programming error could cause them to attack healthy cells, leading to catastrophic autoimmune responses. How do we power billions of these machines and what happens when they reach the end of their operational life? The challenges of biocompatibility, control and long-term safety are monumental. Critics also point to the slow pace of regulatory approval for medical technologies. The journey from a promising lab result to a widely available treatment approved by bodies like the FDA is notoriously long and expensive, a process that our accelerating technological timeline must also contend with. On the other hand, proponents, including myself, see these challenges not as insurmountable barriers, but as engineering problems to be solved. The law of accelerating returns applies to these problems as well. Our ability to simulate complex biological systems is growing exponentially, allowing us to test and refine nanobot designs in virtual environments before they ever enter a human body. Advances in artificial intelligence will be crucial for creating foolproof control systems, ensuring the nanobots operate with perfect precision and safety. The power source can come from the body's own glucose, and obsolete bots can be programmed to self-destruct or be flushed out of the system. The facts on the ground support this accelerating progress. As of today, researchers are successfully using nanoparticles for highly targeted cancer therapy, demonstrating the core principle of delivering a payload to a specific cell. DNA nanotechnology has allowed us to build simple molecular machines that can perform basic logical operations. While we are not yet at the stage of autonomous cell-repairing robots, these are the critical building blocks. The progress is not linear, it is exponential. To dismiss the possibility of immortality by 2030 is to look at the progress of the past and use it as a linear guide for the future, a mistake that has historically underestimated the true trajectory of technological change. The path to a future without death is filled with promise but also risk. We must approach it with careful consideration. Safety is paramount. Introducing intelligent nanotechnology into our bodies demands robust safeguards and ethical protocols. We must also address the risk of inequality. Will only the wealthy benefit at first? But as with all technology, costs will fall and access will grow. The real question is not if, but when. We are on the cusp of a profound transformation. By uniting genetics, nanotechnology, and AI, we are building a future where radical life extension is possible.